Finally, we have arrived to the last question of the contest 283, which is replace non co prime numbers in array. This question was the hard question in the contest. However, once you will go through today's solution, you will agree with me that this was the easiest one out there. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the question. Understanding the question here is of utmost importance, especially under the hard category. You are given an array of integers. What you need to do, you need to perform the following steps. Find any two adjacent number in nums that are non co prime. What do you mean by co prime numbers? They have also provided us with the definition. Two numbers and x and y are non co prime if the GCD of x and y happens to be greater than one. Remember this this point is important and you can correlate the GCD from your uh, uh, primary and secondary classes. I hope you guys are aware of it. GCDs and LCMs. If no such number are found, stop the process. Otherwise, delete those two numbers and replace them with their LCM. Repeat the process as long as you are able to keep finding adjacent non co prime numbers. What you need to do, you need to return the final modified array. Here they have provided us with that example and I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algo to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop onto it. So let's get started. If you again replace non co prime numbers in an array lead code 2197. So let's take the same example that was specified in the question and the solution lies in the example iteration itself. So what do we, what elements do we have? We have six and four. So uh, what do we are going to do? We are going to identify the GCD of these two numbers. The GCD of six and four comes out to be two. That simply means that these two numbers are non co prime in nature. Whenever you see two numbers that are non co prime in nature, what do you need to do? You need to delete those two numbers and replace them with their LCM. So what is the LCM of six and four? The LCM of six and four comes out to be 12. So we'll simply replace it with 12. Pretty awesome and straightforward. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is three. So again, let's do the same kind of thing. Let's find out the GCD of 12 and three. The GCD comes out to be three. In, uh, that simply means that these two numbers are non co prime in nature. As a result of which, what do we need to do? We need to simply delete those two numbers up and replace them with their LCM. So what is the LCM of 12 and 3? The LCM comes out to be 12. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 2. So what is the GCD of 12 and 2? It comes out to be 2. That simply means since GCD is greater than 1, they are non co prime in nature. As a result of which, what we need to do? We need to replace them with the LCM of 12 and 2. So we have that number as 12. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 7. So what is the GCD of 12 and 7? It comes out to be 1. As a result of which, these two numbers turn out to be co-prime in nature. Therefore, these two numbers are there to exist in our final array, output array. And there is no deletion or replacement of their LCM that could happen. And we'll simply proceed ahead. Now the first contender becomes seven and the next contender would be six. So let's write seven and six here. What is the GCD of these two numbers? The GCD is one again, as a result of which we can say that, uh, the, uh, these two numbers are co prime in nature as a result of which six will be part of the final answer set. So right now six happens to be part of the final answer set. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is six and two. So let's use six as a first element for reference and next we have two and what we are going to do, we're going to identify the GCDs. What is the GCD of these two numbers? It's two. Since it's greater than one, these are non co prime in nature as a result of which we need to delete these two up and replace them with their LCM. So what is the LCM on six and two? The LCM of six and two comes out to be six as a result of which six gets added to our answer, which is already present. The final answer that we have is 12, 7 and 6. We'll exactly follow the same steps as I've talked here and let's quickly look at the coding section and conclude the approach. Also, there's an interesting formula that I forgot to mention. If you are given two numbers A and B and you already know the GCD of these two numbers, the LCM can be identified using the simple formula A into B divided by GCD. I hope you guys also are aware of this formula from your secondary and primary schooling days. And this is what we are going to use in our coding section as well. So let's quickly move on to it. Here in this question, we have exploited the properties of linked list. Uh, it has certain functions which we will use to actually conclude the answer. 
the result is in the form of a list of integers and linked list happens to be its derived class as a result of which the solution will be accepted. Now we go ahead and start iteration over the nums array. Uh, till the time uh, I, I, we don't break the condition, what do I do? We extract the last element that was added into my result. If no element was added, that means the result is empty. I use one. Otherwise, uh, linked list uh, provides a helper method get last, get last, which points to the last element that was inserted in your result. What do you do? You calculate the GCD between the last and EL element, the current element under process. You identify the GCD. If that GCD turns out to be equal to one, that means those numbers are co-prime in nature. You simply break the condition. Otherwise, what you're going to do, you'll find the LCM of the, the those numbers. How? Uh, this will give you the last number and the current element. So this is nothing but EL into the last element added divided by its GCD. So the same formula that I talked about in the presentation, A into B by GCD of both these elements. And this will give you the LCM. So uh, the EL gets updated to LCM. And once you are done with this, you simply add it to your result. So in case uh, you have not seen the break condition, EL will be automatically updated and the last entries will keep on getting deleted from your input array whenever the numbers turns out to be of non co prime nature. If they turn out to be of co prime nature, this break condition will take care of it and you simply add it to your result. Once you are done with this, you, you remove out of the loop and return the result array. This is just a helper method that simply calculates the GCD of two numbers. So let's try this up. Accept it. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. And also I would like to highlight that here we have stimulated simulated stack implementation in general because the elements that were recently added into your result are getting consumed from the top. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for being it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.